and welcome to this presentation. In this video, you will be learning how to export AutoCAD 3D model. This is horizontal tank to take large structure successfully. And we are going to be doing this in two ways. There are two ways to bring in AutoCAD 3D model into take large structure for you to further your modeling and presentation successfully. So we get back to AutoCAD and here is the model. If you want me to do a video on how to model this in AutoCAD, comment in the comment section right there and then I will do a video the most easiest way to model this successfully using AutoCAD. So for the first step, we are going to be saving this model either as DSF or DWG to our desktop successfully. So we navigate to the file menu and then we get to save as drawings right there. Okay, so we have this in the document. So we navigate to the desktop. We don't have it on desktop so we save it as horizontal tank and then autocad versions we use to 18 you can be able to navigate between the file of type right here either dwg or dsf successfully okay after which with this name on the desktop click on save so that is saved successfully we will navigate to the class structure but before you proceed you have to close this autocad window successfully so i click here to close that and here is the class structure if you did not have this view box in your the class structure before you import any model you make sure you activate this view box so i will be showing you how to activate this view box successfully you have to navigate to this menu right there get to setting and then advanced options and then model view then you scroll down here look for look for hidden or hide work area this option this one you see it is false that is why you have this if you change it to true you won't have it for instance i apply this okay and then if I refreshed this, you see it's gone. All right, I withdraw view is gone. So if you have your own the class structure like this, you have to come over here, get to settings, advanced options, view, then I view options in this provisions, I view work area options, change here to fraud, false, just like this, apply it and okay. So now right click with your view to have it just like this. So we want to proceed to import the model from the desktop where we save it. So the first method to import the model is through this reference model. And then you use hard options. Then in these provisions, you can use this provision to browse the model and import it. But importing it through the second method I want to show you is actually most effective so let's cancel this and then we will get through this menu and then we get to catalogs so we get to shape catalog All right so in this shape catalog you see what we have here we have uh, an existing model here so over here you can see import so this is the option we'll be using click right there this navigates us to the Tecla structure model import dialog, which is this uh, project we created. We navigate to desktop where we have that project, which is this one, and click on import. So you give it some time, you can see the import is successful and see new shape uh, definition. So you click on import right here. We we'll see import completed. All right, click on the OK options. You have it here. All right so if you select on it you can have it here so this is what we just imported all right so having it here now how do we bring it into the model okay so how to bring this into the model you have to close this dialog first once you close this dialog click on the yes option to save that then navigate to the still tab 
and then see item select on the item and then once you select on the item it come to setting to make sure the setting is activated okay the item dialog just like this you see shape default so you can click in these provisions to be able to navigate to the shape uh dialog which is this one you have to shape we have the one at the default and the one we imported newly which is this one so in this one we are going to be placing we click here and then we pick where we are going to place it okay i'll pick this point you have to pick two points to place it successfully that point and this point so you can see that the model is being created outside the uh, work environment which is the section box okay so just click on the expand section box so that I can be able to trace where the model is all right if you click on do not expand you may not be able to trace where the model is so click on expand these options okay so you can see the section box is able to trace where the model is placed successfully which is this this is the model here you can see so over here now interrupt select this model and then right click use the move options you picked it right there and take it to the grid lines all right so you can place it on the grid line intersections any of the grid lines that you wish to after which now right click and then redraw view right click and then fit work area to entire model we are still having this let's check what is in this provisions nothing is here so we can redraw view again and then fit what area into model we are still having our model here okay so you can either use this for your design successfully if you want to rotate it you just have to right select it right click and then come to move special see rotate options and then the first thing you do is to pick the point of rotations after you pick the point of resections you can change the angle of rotations to either 90 degree or whichever angle and then click on move okay so you see it has moved in this area so I actually imported this because I want to use it for a plant model in the class structure successfully. So this is how to successfully import a model into the class structure and then you can use it effectively. Select on it to get the property. You can change the class depending on what you want. Click on modify. You see everything change. Okay. You can give it an assembly number, a part number. All right. So and then you use it effectively to carry out your model. Thank you for staying to these presentations. Don't forget to like and subscribe. For any question, drop it in the comment sections below. See you in the next presentation. Bye for now.